Hi guys, so today's video is going to be all about skincare. Um, skincare is very, very important to me. Um, a few years ago, 2014, um, for those of you who don't know, I am in the Air Force. And shortly after I got to my first duty station, um, I got deployed for six months. So, I mean, it was art. I was already getting used to you know, Air Force life, and then to get deployed right away, um, it really stressed me out. I got really stressed out over there, and I've never really had bad acne. I mean, I've always had, like, the occasional zit or pimple, you know, blackheads on my nose, but I had such bad skin over there due to just stress um, altogether. That, that was the number one reason why my skin was as bad as it was when I was there. Um, I got there in at the end of July and I started breaking out in December of twenty of twenty fourteen. I started really breaking out like really really bad. And I will of course insert some pictures so you can see really how bad it was. Um, so that's when I really started getting into skincare because I have never had issues prior to that for me to really get down and really have some serious skincare routines going on. Before that, I just washed my face, put on some lotion, called it good. Um, but so while I was out there, I started, um, researching and looking up different products that would help with the breakouts and with the dark spots and the discoloration so the two things that I first started with that really helped um, was the glam glow cleanser that's like when it first came out um, I know a lot of people are kind of like iffy about that product but it really helped my skin in particular like I had it was all like here on my cheeks that's mainly where it was I didn't get any like on my forehead or my chin it was just mainly on my cheeks so that cleanser did so so much for my skin um, and then the second thing that I started using while I was out there was I discovered Ole Hendrickson's line not the complete line yet but um the sheer transformation um, because you know when you go on the Sephora um, app or whatever, you can shop by skincare um, by concern. So my number one concern was dark spots, discoloration, and all that good stuff. Um, so that's where I found that, and you will see the pictures. Like it was so bad, but it started to clear up. And then I also started using. Um, I'll show you. It's I don't really use it anymore because I don't have as bad of dark spots and discoloration as I did, but I started using the Estee Lauder, I forgot the name. So this is what the Glam Glow Cleanser looks like. It's This is just like a mini right now, but it has the little pump on there, which I really like. Um, Sometimes the pump gets stuck, so you kind of have to like pop it back up. But I really like this cleanser a lot, especially if I feel like my blackheads are like getting out of control or something. I like to use this. I also use this um, at the gym, like after my workout, like right after my workout when I'm at the gym. I always wash my wash my face because I usually like will get distracted or go run errands after, and I just don't want all that sweat just chilling on my face. So I love using this right after the gym. And then this is what the sheer transformation looks like. It comes in a big old pot like this. This is a brand new one, new one so I'm not going to open it yet. But I've gone through so many jars of this. But this lotion or cream is freaking awesome. Um, I only use it in the morning though. I have a different night cream that I use. But um, yeah, this one is so good. And it's light, lightweight. It, um... It soaks into your skin really fast and it doesn't leave any like greasy residue and it's just my favorite moisturizer in the entire world. But this had so much to do with my skin clearing up and the discoloration going away. And obviously I'm not wearing any makeup 
right now because I wanted you to see what my skin looks like today, like right now, present time. Because, and like I said, December 2015 is when my, um, or I'm sorry, December 2014 is when my face was so bad and it was even bad in January and when I returned from deployment in February, um, I still had a lot of discoloration but I continued to use um, those two products and then Estee Lauder one and uh, then I started using others. When I, when I got home that's when I really started to go out and venture out and see what was out there that could help with my discoloration but this had a big part in it and like as you can see I still do have some discoloration, some redness but it is so much better than what it was. Um, and then the Estee Lauder product that I'm talking about, it's called Enlightened Dark Spot Correcting. And I'm going to show you on my iPad because I don't have it anymore. But it looks like this here. It comes in a nice, um, has a nice little pump on the top. And this is exactly for what it says. Um, let's see, it says, this intensive serum improves the look of uneven skin tone. Leaving skin looking and feeling completely fresh and hydrated, it reduces the appearance of dark spots, discoloration, blotchiness, and redness while refining skin's texture. So it did exactly that. And as you saw from the pictures, it was just getting better and better as time went on. I mean, even now, I, I'm so thankful that so many of those dark spots have lightened up and some of them you can't even see anymore. I mean, I still have breakouts. So if I have a dark spot or two, like, in areas up here, it's from recent breakouts. Because I, you know, the hormonal thing, whatever. But yeah, so this, if you are having um, trouble getting rid of some dark spots, I highly recommend this Estee Lauder um, serum. It is really great. And it really, really helped me out, like, a crap ton. Um, so now, once I got back, like I said, from deployment um, in February, I discovered the rest of Ole Hendrickson's line, and I continue to use that to this day, and it is, you will see such a difference in your skin. Um, I have the Truth Serum, and then for nighttime, I have the Invigorating Night Treatment, and these two together are freaking awesome. This one has even more so helped lighten up the dark spots on my face and continues to help lighten the, even the blemishes that I have that I've had recently it helps lighten them up continuously so I I can't remember the last time I had like a true dark spot that just would not go away because this is constantly working on my skin um, and this one here says the vitamin C complex Helps to brighten, smooth, and help the appearance of aging. So, who doesn't want that? You know what I mean? So, this one I use in the morning. And then the Invigorating Night Treatment. This, this, you need. Seriously. When you put it on at night, you'll kind of feel it like tingling a little bit. But that just means it's working. And this one, I'm going to tell you exactly, exactly what it means. So, just one second. Okay, so exactly what... The website says for the Truth Serum, it says um, it has a five source vitamin C complex to help brighten, boost collagen, and minimize fine lines and wrinkles. And it is even safe for sensitive skin. Now, the Invigorating Night Treatment. Okay. Alright, this one says um, the powerful gel seals in essential vitamins and minerals for deeply nourished skin. It supports natural cell turnover, improves the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and smooth texture, resulting in a beautiful, radiant, youthful looking complexion. And I am a true testament to that because there have been times where I've had like little breakouts, you know what I mean? Or even like I picked up my face and it's like all red and stuff like that. And when I go to bed at night, when I when I put this on, wake up in the morning, it's like gone. It's freaking awesome. You guys really need it in your life. It is truly, it will truly transform your skin. You will really feel and see a difference in your skin and how smooth it is. You'll some of the texture will go away, and not to mention the fine lines under your eyes. You can even bring this green one up under here, and it is just so awesome. I highly recommend it for anybody. For anybody, I mean, not even people who are just trying to, you know, 
help with their dark spots or discoloration, anybody, you will benefit from these two products alone. The next cool product I have, I pretty much wish this video was sponsored, but it's not. <laughs> um, the next product that I started using was the Pure Truth Active Activating Oil. Now, this one I don't use year round. I only use it like in the winter time because um, when I would use this one, it's just in the morning. And um, because in the winter time is, I mean, I have really oily skin, but in the winter time, of course, everybody's skin gets a little bit drier, you know. So this is when I like to use this um, oil is in the winter time after I put on my True Serum. I'll follow with this one and then with my Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. In the summer, I only use the True Serum and then moisturizer because my face just produces so much oil in this. Texas heat is just way too much. So I don't use the oil in the mornings, but in the winter time, I do like to go with this one. And this one is even, it just is that extra oomph that you need. And this one even comes out... Um, I don't know if you can see it, but on my hand it comes out like an uh, orange color. But when you rub it in and everything like that, it gives you a nice natural glow. It looks so pretty and it is one of my favorite oils. And it smells so much like oranges and I'm actually, like I have like this much left. So winter time is coming right around the corner so I'm going to have to buy a new bottle of that. But what it says on the website, um... Let's see. It says fine lines are visibly reduced and skin is immediately brighter and more radiant. Abundant with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, skin is defended from future damage and balance. And it helps, it quickly absorbs and deeply penetrates to heal, nourish, and hydrate. So, um, it also says it is unprocessed to maintain the highest potency. Rose hips oil is a single source of active vitamin A within or vitamin C and high levels of essential fatty acids. Um, so this is just that extra something that truly makes a difference um, in my skin in the winter time because it's just that extra something that I need right now. Um, and I actually am looking forward to um, putting on my face every morning again in the winter time. <laughs> so that is like the base of my skincare. And I have a few other things that I think have really made a difference also in my skin. Um, one of which being these, what's the name, where's the name, oh. It's the Pixie Glow Tonic To Go Exfoliating Toner Pads. These are awesome. I used to use the, um, just the regular liquid toner, but I've been traveling a lot recently, so these are a lot easier to travel with, and they just come in with little pads. I have like two left, I need to go with another one. But these are awesome, and it has 5% um, glycolic, aloe vera, and ginseng. And these really make a difference in your skin, and it is called Glow Tonic for a purpose. Because um, it really does make your skin just have such a healthy glow. Um, I really saw a difference once I started using these in my skin. Um, a friend of mine asked me, like, how can you tell a difference when you use so many different things? But trust me... Once you start using things for a while and then you add in something else, like you will be able to notice what that new product is doing because you just, you have the extra, you know, you know what I mean? But this toner is super, super good. Um, I used to use one by Neutrogena um, when, when I was deployed my skin was really bad. It was, forget the name, but it was one to help, it said it would help um, prevent future breakouts and help laying up dark spots. So that's one that I was using for a really long time. Even even uh, before I started having really bad skin, um, I always used that one because it said helps prevent future breakouts. Like, because I never wanted to break out. I was always terrified of having really bad acne. I thought blackheads were like the worst I was ever gonna come across. But this here. Is, they're really good. I I really like them and I don't think I'll ever, maybe I'll use another toner another day, but right now I have gone through so many of these and the liquids, so I really enjoy these and I highly recommend them to everybody. Um, oh yeah, another thing from Ulls 
line um, is their Walnut Complexion Scrub. It smells so good and it actually comes in a tube now. Mm, I think that's wrong. Yeah. Which is way better than, you know, having to scoop up that stuff in there. But this is really good um, for those days when you are not using, like if you use a clear sonic like I do, um, this is a, another good option if you don't, you know, take a break from your color sonic and just use this. And it is gentle, but very exfoliating. You know what I mean? So it just helps get rid of that, all that dead skin and stuff. And it smells so good. And your face is so freaking smooth after. Like, you guys need this one too in your life. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, oh, yeah. And another thing that helped clear my skin after I got home from deployment was I bought a Clarisonic um, when I got home. That's like one of the first things I did was I went out and I got a Clarisonic. Um, I know a lot of people were on the fence about, ah, okay, oh, I won't even say a lot of people. I was on the fence for the longest time about getting a Clarisonic because um, everybody always says that your face goes through like a purge. You know what I mean? Because once you start using this and it brings up all the the gunk um and you start just getting on these little volcanoes everywhere like I just I was so afraid of that but I finally was just like what the heck my face already looks like crap so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it so I bought it and I initially was using the deep the deep pore one yeah like the acne one gets like real in there and that one is really good and I actually did experience a little bit of purging but it wasn't unbearable I mean like I said my face was already pretty bad so it wasn't anything out of the ordinary at the time um, so I was using that brush head for a little bit and then I switched over to the radiance one the radiance one has like the little pinkish mauve color ring in there and this one this uh, brush head is actually my favorite um, it's gentle and this one is like I said um, the radiance one and this one is geared towards polishing um, away dullness and um, revealing brighter more radiant skin so this also helps with dark spots so that's why this brush head is my favorite and I highly recommend a clear sonic to anybody who doesn't have one it is so good at really getting in that deep clean especially if you wear makeup all the time I mean I know that I don't wear makeup um, I don't wear makeup at all during the week. I wear, well, I just wear like a CC cream. Um, so, but on the weekends when I do wear makeup and I always wash my face first before I use this. Um, I go on with like a regular face wash to um, remove all my makeup and then I'll go on with this. And even after washing my face with makeup remover, this still removes even more makeup. So it just really gets in there and deeply cleans, um, deeply cleans your face and helps with um, blackheads and everything like that. So this, I also cannot live without. And to go along with that, um, lately I've been using um, this First Aid Beauty Cleanser. It's their Deep Cleanser with Red Clay. This is like my recent favorite face wash. Um, it's messy because it does kind of leak a little bit, but I really like this. I really see um, how it cleans up my pore. It, like, I have such bad blackheads in here like I, because I get so oily. And this really helps um, maintain, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? It really helps to get some of that gunk out, you know what I mean? So this face wash is really nice and it works really well. With my clear sonic because you know how some face washes are like they don't foam and all that stuff this one works really good with my clear sonic and it is freaking awesome and another thing to go along with breaking out um one of my favorite um treatments for like a pimple or something like that is the mario badescu drying lotion this is so good you guys so 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 good you for reals need it if you get those like hormonal breakouts or you have the occasional pimple seriously as soon as you start to see it come up a little bit you put this stuff on there i like to leave mine on like overnight or um like if i'm just at home not doing anything i'll put it on there I'll leave it on there for a while let it dry and seriously it works like i remember i had a pimple right in here 
and went to bed, put this on, woke up, gone. Seriously, you need it in your life. You need it. Need it, need it, need it. Um, another few things that I use um, to help maintain um, my skin and so my dark spots don't come back up is, of course, sunscreen. Because if you don't use sunscreen, those dark spots, when you go out in the sun, they will get darker and they will be visible again. So... I, I'm so bad at putting sunscreen on, but I have to like make a mental note every day to put on some form of sunscreen because all that hard work I did to diminish those dark spots will come back if I don't use sunscreen. So this one by Tarte is SPF 30 and it is really, really good. It's lightweight and it smells not like sunscreen. And then another product by Tarte that I like to use at night is the Maracuja Oil. And I don't use this every night, but if I just need that extra moisture and it also helps with fine lines and all that good stuff and it does help brighten, it does have vitamin C in it. So if I just feel like I need that extra sun sun, I will use this oil at nighttime and it, it <laughs> I know I say this about everything, but I wouldn't be using it if it didn't make a difference. But this does make a difference in my skin when I use it. I can tell in the morning my face just looks a little bit more, you know, plumped up and moisturized and hydrated and recharged, all that good stuff. Um, another um, thing that I don't use every night, but a lot, is this Shiseido Ibuki Beauty Sleeping Mask. Okay, this sleeping mask is the bomb. Like seriously. And it smells so good. It smells like my childhood. <laughs> I don't know. It smells so good though. It's such a, a pleasant scent for me. And the packaging is just so cute, right? But I don't use this every night, but on days where my skin is just not looking its best, I will use this at nighttime and in the morning my skin looks freaking awesome. Like if I've had like a few breakouts recently and I have like a few, you know, dark spots from the recent breakouts, I'll use this and my skin just looks so much brighter in the morning. Like I'm not even lying. Like this just is just is the best. Like you need to go buy it. You need to go buy all this stuff. Yeah, that about wraps up my skincare. I know that it might seem like a lot to some people. Um, so I know my aunt, she her skincare is so minimal, like so minimal. And my Compared to her, it's, it just seems like I'm doing the most. I don't know. But right now, those are all the things that I use. Like I said, some stuff I don't use every night that I don't use every morning. But that's the gist of it. I highly encourage you to try some of these products that I mentioned. Um, everybody's skin is different. But I highly recommend them. And I really hope they work out for you. Because um, I know for me, having my skin be that bad at that point, um, it really, really, really lowered my self-esteem. And it really made me... Feel so icky about myself, you know, because I've never, I've never really had bad skin like that. So, I, for those of you with acne, I know how you feel. Thank goodness for skincare, right? <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Keep okay, up.